Let's start by just taking the time to relax, to be present, to be still. If you're thinking about other things, please take this invitation to put everything else aside. If you can, try not to multitask during these meetings. One of the things about it being online is that we can't see what you're doing fully. You know, you could be, um, you know, typing up a document for work at the same time as being on this meeting, for all I know. So, really, I would encourage you to take this op opportunity to be present, to be here with me, with the group, with yourself. Because in that way, there you are, you have the most to gain by doing that. That reminds me of a quote from the Buddha, from the Diamond Sutra, one of the key Mahayana texts. Like I said, you've got most to gain when you're present at the meeting. And the Buddha said, when I gained supreme, unexcelled enlightenment, I gained not a thing. When I gained supreme, unexcelled enlightenment, I didn't gain a thing. I like that term, supreme, unexcelled enlightenment. Supreme means it's the greatest, the highest. And then unexcelled, it's just driving the point home. It's, it, unexcelled means something that cannot be surpassed or excelled by anything else. It's the greatest of all enlightenments. There's no greater enlightenment. And the Buddha said, when I attained that, I gained nothing at all. And then I think he said something like, for if I had gained something through the supreme unexcelled enlightenment, it would not be the supreme unexcelled enlightenment. And he doesn't explain that any further, if my recollection is correct. Just leaves that there, just a nice cryptic message. If I had gained something from unexcelled supreme enlightenment, then it would not be unexcelled supreme enlightenment. See, the freedom is already fully here. The idea you've got to gain it is the egoic idea. It's the idea that thought thinks. We can gain lots of things in this world. And lots of things are worth gaining, worth attaining. You know, we can attain, we can gain, we can obtain, we can obtain food. And water, that's worth obtaining, isn't it? Definitely. We can obtain skills, various skills. We can learn to talk to each other, communicate with each other with varying levels of skillfulness. That's good. We can learn to move and walk and drive. So we can communicate, we can talk, we can walk, we can drive, we can move around. These are all skills. These are in the relative world. We can learn skills to improve our relationships, to be happy and healthy, body, mind, dare I say it, body, mind, spirit. Yes, some of you know I like that word spirit. Remember. I know it's not the most popular of words, all the connotations. Enlightenment as well. I like the word enlightenment. I know lots of people don't like that word. I 
on a side note, I think the concept of enlightenment is a wonderful concept. Whether you agree with it or not is not necessarily the point. But the concept of the idea that there can be something called freedom, it's a very radical idea, especially in the West. And I remember when I came across the idea, the concept that there is something called enlightenment, there is something called freedom in which there is no suffering. That really shook me in a good way. It shook me up. Because before that, I was just taught that suffering is the way it goes. And that's just the way it is. There's nothing you can do about it. And then I came across teachings like the Buddha's teaching. The Buddha said, I teach about suffering and how to end it. That's all. Isn't that beautiful? And radical. But yes, nothing to be gained. Nothing to be gained. Fully here already. But there are lots of things we can gain, aren't there? Body, mind, and world. We can gain things in the, to do with the body, our health, the mind, our mental health, skills, skillful means, the world. We can gain other skills. We can move about in the world. These are all fine. In the, in the relative plane, let's say, in the, in, the, in the level of the body, mind, and world, it's all good. But enlightenment, freedom, doesn't work. You can't gain that, which it, which already is. So that seeking paradigm doesn't work. It doesn't mean that on the body-mind level, the body-mind doesn't do various things to become better in various ways. Better chess player, better, math, better mathematician, better guitar player, better communicator, etc., etc. That's fine. But none of those things are free. 